Hey guys, it's Jenna here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Long time no chat. I know I look insane. <clears throat> Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.38 p.m. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. And it is Wednesday, March 31st. So... We haven't caught up in a spell, have we? So I actually just got off the phone because I had a phone interview with TJ Maxx. It is no secret that I am very sick of my job. There has been a lot going on there that I have not filled you guys in on. And Rachel is actually still in her phone interview. And yeah, so basically during my phone interview the whole time I was stuttering up a storm kept using very bad words to use in an interview, not bad words, like bad words in an interview, like like and um, and so yeah, like basically what I do on here. But you're not supposed to do that in an interview, and I did, and I wanted to punch myself in the face the whole time. However, she still gave me an in-person interview, so I go in tomorrow at 10 a.m. So, my point of this whole thing being, I was going to do a 24-hour readathon tonight, and now I'm rethinking my decisions because I have an interview tomorrow. However, I still want to do the readathon. I might still do the readathon. We will see. <sighs> but yeah, I was going to do a 24 hour readathon. Maybe we still will. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If we do, it won't be until later tonight, probably around 8 p.m. I'm nervous. I'm surprised she even gave me an interview, honestly. I was a mess. But, um, yeah, I got my nails done yesterday. For the first time since prom in 2019. And I also went to Barnes & Noble yesterday. In prom 2 hall. So the first book I got her was Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. She said that she didn't like, um, she told me that really the only series, uh, the little genre she didn't like was historical fiction, but I ran this idea past her and she said that it actually sounded interesting. So I put this on her list, but I'm also just going to buy it. I made her a little book of book recommendations. So there are 19, I believe, because she is turning 19, I believe. And then the other book I got her was because she said that her favorite genre to read was dystopian. So, I got her Shatter Me by Tara Mafi. So, yeah. And then, the book that I got for myself was the last book in Miss Peregrine's series. I didn't even know that. The Desolations of Devil's Acre by... How'd it go? I got offered the job. Woo! I'm letting him know by Friday. Ooh. Where's it at? Um, they're opening up a here in office so how it would work is it's an inventory associate job so i wouldn't be going for the supervisor position because you have to be a driver like 99 percent of the time you have to be a driver too which you have to be 21 for but how it would work is i would either meet them if the store was closer to me than the port here on office i would meet them there and um basically just count inventory like count what that store has and 11 bucks an hour and then yeah and if it's somewhere farther away and we're going to be there overnight they pay for a hotel room which can be chicago indianapolis the upper peninsula and if i stay there for 30 days and my count like my count rate how many boxes you count like an hour or whatever um, if that's at 50% of what it should be, then, or at 50% of what they want it to be, I get a $100 bonus, 25 cent raise, 60 days, same thing, 70 days, or I mean 90 days, same thing. And if I refer a friend and they get hired and they stay there for 30 days, I get a hundred bucks. After 90 days, you will get a hundred bucks. Well, I have tea. I have an interview tomorrow at 10. 
Well, she just called and said she wanted to give you an interview. Now we talked for 20 minutes and she said, <sighs> okay, well, I was stuttering the whole interview and I kept using Bro. so many, like, I kept saying like and, um. At and least the guy's face wasn't like this for you. I saw was his fucking mouth moving. And then you go like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she, I thought. Wait, I'd hang on one thing. He thought I was 23, at least. He said, that's a very big compliment coming from me. And I was like, oh. okay, sorry, go ahead. But yeah, she, I thought I totally blew up. But she's like, well, uh, I want to interview him in person. And I was like, really? Okay, guys, so here's the sitch. So it is now 7.30 on, um, Wednesday. And I was going to do a 24-hour readathon tonight, but I am so tired already. And I have not even done, like, half the stuff I was meaning to do tonight. So I think that instead of doing it tonight, I'm going to try to do it tomorrow if I'm still feeling it. Uh, and then I'm just going to take today to look through some of my YouTube watch later list, get me hyped up for a readathon. And I'm also going to take this time to maybe try to edit and upload some of my vlogs that are in my camera roll. And just clean up my room and stuff like that, just so that I have a good place to do a readathon in. And then all I have to do tomorrow is go to a job interview, and uh, um, I'm gonna pick up some snacks and stuff like that for the readathon. I'm gonna make sure that I have some some coffee in the house, which means I'm gonna have to pick up some creamer. Yeah. Um, I think I still do want to host a readathon. But then it'll probably be tomorrow because I'm so tired. Rachel literally was like, do you want me to call you later? You look really tired. And I'm like, I am exhausted. Oh, I did get some crystals today though. So I want to give you guys a little crystal haul. So first of all, yesterday we went to crystal stores. And I already showed you the Barnes & Noble stuff, but I got this from, it's called Infinity Magic. And I got it, it's an obsidian necklace. And then, whew, okay, I got some today and I got some yesterday. Let me try to separate them. I also got them all from different, from different places. So that is going to be interesting. Good thing I have a photographic memory, huh? So yesterday from this shop, it's called Numia the Weird and the Wild, and I got a piece of blue calcite, and I love it. Nana is obsessed with my crystals, and then this is a piece of, ooh, which one is this? Mmm, this, I think this is the chrysoprase. Let me see, I have all the little... Yeah, this is the Chrysoprase, I believe. And then this is the Amazonite. They look super similar, but this is the Chrysoprase. This is Amazonite. I just have to remember that the Amazonite is smoother. Then this is Emerald. And then let me see. I got a piece of Rainbow Obsidian and Amatrite, which Savannah is obsessed with this one. I don't know what her deal is, but she loves the Amatrite. And she also really loves the rainbow obsidian for some reason, but yeah. I can't let her have this one though because she will choke on that. I just know she will. And then from Infinity Magic. Oh, also yesterday from Numia, I got a little pendulum and this is Moss Agate. Love. I just love stones, you guys. You guys should know this. And then from Numia, I got a little amber one cluster. I have all the little cards in here, so but I'm trying to see if I can remember them. They didn't give us cards at um oh I also got the green tourmaline from
Numia or yeah Numia and then I got the amethyst cluster and then piece of citrine because when I try to tumble citrine uh it just disappeared and that is from infinity magic also from infinity magic was the necklace and then I got a piece of pink opal and a piece of howlite I had them all nice and in here cord like color coordinated but I'm gonna mix them up and then I got some alcohol agate today from Numia. I also got clear quartz, which I heard is good for animals. Here, stew on that one for a little bit. Dragon's bloodstone. Piece of unikite, pink and green. Solacite or scalakite, scalakite I think. It's one of those, it's spelled C s-c-o-l-c-i-t-e and then this is goldstone i believe it you can't really see it on camera oh there you can see it it's like resan's eyes oh my god <gasps> tea oh and then i got this hematite ring from numia I heard that hematite rings help absorb negative energy, and I am just surprised it hasn't broken on me yet. But yeah, so I'm going to take today to clean up and to edit these vlogs. And I think I'm actually just going to tag these on the vlog. And just know that I am probably going to be doing a 24 hour readathon soon. And I'm very excited. Uh, hopefully. I just need to get a lot of rest tonight and just wake up in a clean environment so like the mess isn't exhausting me but however I am planning like during my readathon one of the things I want to do to keep me awake is to try to do some of my spring cleaning and organizing so I'm hoping that will keep me up but at the same time, it's kind of risky because that is also something that could put me right to sleep because I will be exhausted. So, we will see. But, yes. Yeah, so. Hey guys, so it is currently... Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.08 a.m. Oh, ouch. Anyways, um, I was just on TikTok... And I saw that Stephanie Meyer has outtakes of clips that were supposed to be in the book for all of the books on her website. And I am dying to investigate this. So that's what I'm going to do. I heard of one of the stories on TikTok and it sounds so good. Hmm. What should be trending? Yep. Hmm. Let's do Twilight first. Outtakes! How many pages is this? Oh my god, guys. Yeah, all you have to do is go on her website and go with the books and then go to the Twilight Saga and pick one of the books and then scroll all the way to the bottom and there will be a button at the bottom that says outtakes and there's like a couple different chapters from each one. This is dope. I'm just trying to investigate. Emmett and the bear. What? Why would she cut that out? Why would you cut out Emmett's story? This is about like Bella talking about how she's growing closer to Emmett and getting to know him and how he became a vampire and like what that experience was like. And I'm like, I just want to know why she cut these out. I'm kind of triggered about this. 
there's an extended prom scene for Twilight, and that's just for Twilight. There's four different stories, and then for New Moon, I'm pretty sure there's three, because that was the one she showed us on TikTok. Yeah, there's three. Narcotics. The scholarship is the one I heard about after Edward leaves and he ends up trying to send Bella money through like a scholarship and she keeps sending him back until like it gets like more and more amped up and I thought it would be funny like what's narcotics about? <sighs> it's so funny though. Carlisle gives her like drugs for the pain of her injuries and she like has a negative reaction to it and Edward like took care of her I don't know why she didn't keep these if, if Jacob didn't break the rules oh my god it's if like Bella didn't find out that Jacob wasn't a werewolf it's like a completely different story. Whoa, that's pretty dope. Okay, I'm gonna try to like wrap this up pretty soon, but I thought that this was cool. Eclipse, I'm curious to see how many things she cut out of like the bigger books. What? There's no outtakes for Eclipse. Um, but anyways. Oh, she has playlists attached to these too. That's so dope, Breaking Dawn. There's no more takes from Breaking Dawn. I'm sad. I was really looking forward to that. What about Midnight Sun? She probably not. She included, I swear, everything in Midnight Sun. Nope. Okay, well, there's only outtakes from Twilight and New Moon, but that was still fun. So, what to do, y'all? So, it is 10.30. And I just got home from my interview. I'm pretty sure it went well. He seemed to like me. He said he liked me. He said that my outfit already matches the dress code. And that he's, he said, I'm pretty confident that I can tell you I will be giving you a call back. I just have to wait and talk to your references first. So fingers crossed that goes well. He said he was super lenient. He was willing to be super lenient with my schedule. So yeah, that's done. That's out of the way. And now I'm going to eat my breakfast and um, start getting my chores list done to prepare for this readathon tonight. Because I'm pretty sure I want to try to do a readathon before I have to go back to work. Alexa, what day is it? It's Thursday, April 1st. Okay. So we have at least today and tomorrow before we possibly have to go back to work. So yeah, I want to try to do that. So I have a list of things that I have to get done. I have to put my clothes away. I have to wash those ones. I have to take all the trash out of my room. I have to scoop Savannah's litter box. I have to take care of the rabbits. A couple other things that I can't remember. Oh, I also have to upload my vlogs. Get those out of my camera roll so that I have room to vlog. Today it is. <clears throat> Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10 51 a.m. Have a good weekend, Jenny. <sighs> so, my hair is super curly today. Um, ciao. Anyways, um, so it is just about 11. And I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. Surprisingly, Savannah actually let me sleep. I debated going back to sleep, but then TJ Maxx called me and was like, yo, you were like really behind on your paperwork. And I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot about it, but I couldn't tell them that. So, um, yeah. Oh, so, yes, thank you. Um... So, I have a couple clips from before my readathon that I'm going to pop in here, and I'm also going to 
have clips from no yeah i am going to be rearranging my bookshelf in this video i had to like take a second to remember where i was going with this why are you bringing me a new toy every time um so i have a big day ahead of me honestly i didn't really realize it but yeah so today i have to do my chores i have to do a couple things around the house i have okay you can stop caterwauling uh, I have to edit and upload my readathon, and I have to just keep up with my TJ Maxx paperwork because it all has to be done today because they're closed on Sunday and it has to be able to process by Monday when I start. Is this a good time to mention that I got the job at TJ Maxx? So I have to do that, and then, well, it's, um, I have laundry downstairs that I need to fold, uh, take a shower, do my chores, do a couple things around the house, organize my bookshelves, and then I feel like I'm missing something and I can't remember. But I have a lot of stuff to do today, and it all has to be done by 7. So, I have roughly, like, 7 hours to do this. Um, and I know that it all, like, not all of it technically has to be done today, but I would like it to be done. Okay! I understand! You guessed it, it's a new toy every time. I don't know where she keeps getting all of them. I literally hid her toy bin from her. I don't know where they're coming from. So I've just found out- Whoa. I've just found out that it's supposed to rain for like six days straight next week. And I'm so unamused. But yeah, we are going to go out to my barn. Here's the little shed. All my kiddos are in here. All besides the baby bunnies, but they- aren't coming out until after the weather is warmer because they've only ever been inside and I don't want to send them into shock with the cold weather. Hi babies! Here's everyone. There's Marina. Marina came out today. And Jensen. So yeah, I just gotta do my chores and then I'm probably gonna go in Grab my laundry and then I'm gonna take a shower. And then, I don't know. I'm just gonna get my stuff done and you guys will see when I start um, organizing my shelf. Hey guys, so as of right now, my shelves are done for now. Um, they're not all the way full. I do still have a box in Jared's room of books that can go in there, but it's getting pretty late. So uh, I have to start getting ready for the birthday party that I'm going to. But I'll kind of try to give you guys like a rundown of how I organized it. It's really just like basic. Eh, we'll see but I definitely could do better but not today and I will be saving Woo! <sighs> I will be saving the unhaul for a separate video so this shelf right here I kind of just wanted to put hard covers on it so I did like bigger hard covers up here and then I did my smaller hard covers down here same with right there and here is another shelf full of larger hardcovers, and then the bottom is going to be the start of more smaller ones. And then I decided to do a whole paperback shelf, because paperbacks just fit better on this one. So, up here is the ones that I've read. Eh. I This shelf is the one that needs the most help. It's just, it needs to be rearranged better. This one is all, like, contemporaries or romances. This one is fantasy, and then more contemporaries fantasy and then this is like thrillers or 
um, horror genre, etc. And then up here we have my little Harry Potter shrine. And then here we have my Sarah J. Mass shelf along with some of my favorites. And then we have Twilight and then more of my favorites. We have a Cassandra Clare shelf. And then down here is going to be more of like the ones that I've read. So yeah. And then we have my poetry collection up there. Honestly, I didn't know if I was going to like it, but because it makes my room a lot smaller, but I love how it looks and how I'm able to like spread my books out now. I've never been able to organize them like this ever. I've never had enough shelves to be able to stand all my books up instead of stacking them like this. So I like the look of having a sideways stack in the middle for like these shelves. But for my TBR shelf, I've always wanted them to be like this. And they're finally like that. So yeah, um, I definitely want to fix my shelves up more. Maybe like fix this one up over here too. But that is going to be for a different day because I have to be ready. I have to pack a bag, stuff like that. But I will check in later. Hey guys, so it is currently 12.45 on Sunday, April 4th. Happy Easter, guys. So I woke up, um, I want to say about an hour ago. I don't know, I didn't really, like, get up, get up until, like, 20 minutes ago. But, yeah. I got home around 8.30. But I was so tired when, um, when I got here that I just went right to sleep. Um, normally I would have just stayed for a while, but the only reason we got... Rachel's mom to agree to let her go with me to that party was that, um, she would be home by 9 a.m. But yeah, um, I am about to go take care of the animals, but I wanted to just say that I was thinking about starting a book. I'm thinking that I want to read A Court of Wings and Ruin. In a quarter of frost and starlight. I think. That was beautiful out. Happy Easter, indeed. Hey now. Ah. Uh. I was gonna go with my dad to drop Jared off, but I'm just tired. And I wasn't really feeling the greatest, and I knew that I still hadn't take care, taken care of these guys, and I didn't want to rush it, so. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so I'm thinking that I want to finish rereading Akotar. Hi, babies. Hello. It's beautiful out. You guys can have fun over today. It's warm in here. Holy moly. But, yeah. I just wanted to let you guys um, know that. And I guess I'm just going to start Akamath. Or not Akamath. <laughs> Aqua War. And I will update you guys. Whenever I got a scatter brain right now, like I don't really know what I'm doing with Buck Cube. Today is Alexa. What time is it? It's 4:40 p.m. Enjoy your evening. Alexa, what day is it? Today is Saturday, April 17th. By the way, oh, I have a haul for you guys since I've been so inactive on here. So originally, like a week ago, I was going to do a 24-hour readathon after I quit Dairy Queen. But that didn't happen because I ended up having a slumber party. And then it still didn't happen because I had training days at my new job. And then it just hasn't worked out. I'm hoping to get it done in the next couple days, but that'll remain to be seen. But Rachel and I went thrifting today. I 
I did some damage. I did a lot of damage today, but first I'm going to show you the crystals I got. So, I got some honey calcite from Numia. I got deandristic opal or something like that. I can't remember it. A big honking piece of rose quartz. And then uh, um, azurite. And then this is a little piece of teconite. So those were the crystals I got from Numia. Woo! Oh, and I also got a bunch of incense from Numia. It was 10 for like $2.49. So I got a bunch of different scents in here. There's like cedar wood. There's a whole bunch. That was what I got from Numia. And then let's do Goodwill first. Since that was the first place we went. <laughs> I have a lot of clothes, you guys. Okay, but I did have a good excuse for it. So my new job, the like dress code is business casual. And I don't really have that many dressy clothes. So the first thing I got from Goodwill is this purple deep purple velvet top it's a lot darker in person the camera's really doing the most today but yeah i got this and this was 3.99 but it was 20 percent off day for green tags so yeah figured i could wear this or i could wear it with like a turtleneck something and then I also got this top. It's like, it's got like the little ruching on the top and it's got the little flared out sleeves. I was really just like looking for more clothes that I could wear. I don't know. I, I've never had to like dress up every day. So it was really hard for me to figure out what to wear to work and be comfortable in it. Cause like, I'm always like, I don't know. And then I got another turtleneck. This is beige, not as large of a turtleneck, but got that. And then I found these really cool shoes. I don't know, I thought they were cool. Rachel told me they were cool, but they're these. And I don't know why, but I really like them. And they're men's, so they will definitely fit me. Probably gonna be too big. Oh my God, these are gonna be gigantic on me. I bet you I could slip them on. Actually, they're not that big on me because the toes are pretty like, there's like, <laughs> yeah, there's a good two inches in the toe, but maybe I can, you know what? I'm sure that if I stuff a sock in the toe of these, that these will work just fine for work. So we got those. That was one bag from Goodwill. I have another bag. Here it is. So then, from Goodwill, I also got this top from LuLaRoe. Just a basic top. Feels very comfy. And then I found a dress there. If you can really call it a dress, it's probably pretty short. But it's like this dusty lavender color. And it's originally from Forever 21. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. Might as freaking well. Oh, I forgot about this top. And then I found this one. It's got these like little cutouts, sleeves. Yeah, I thought it was cute for work. And then I just found this green tank top that I like, so I picked it up. It's literally just a green tank top, that's all it is. So this is all from Goodwill. I went we went to this place called bright bargains and it's a giant flea market where everybody like brings in stuff to donate or sell and whatever that like gets bought they just get like a check every time something's bought so i found that was pretty freaking cool and i got a couple things from there 
So the first thing I got is this adorable little elephant incense holder. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I just pop an incense stick in that. He's so cute. And then I'm also trying to like keep track of all of my receipts so that I can scan them. So this thing is actually not for me, it's for my mom. So she's got a thing for turtles and we're also, like we live in Michigan. So we've collected stones and rocks our whole life. And I thought that this was just, I just had to, like it's perfect. This screams my mother. You even got like fossils in there, it's very pretty. And then the last thing from there is this little thingy. It's just a little dish, but I thought it was cute, so I grabbed it. It's teal, very fancy. It kind of reminds me of a doily, but there's that. And then I also got a giant piece of orange calcite, which is, I love it. And then I got a piece of red calcite, very pretty. And I got a piece of kyanite, which looks a lot like blue calcite. I don't think it is. Hopefully, as long as they uh, labeled everything correctly. And that was what I got from Bright Bargains. Another crystal dish. I can't be stopped. <clears throat> So that was from there, and then, uh, um, so this is from Salvation Army. First thing I got was this cute little, oh, this is a lot more turtleneck than I thought, but it's this little baby blue turtleneck. Thought it might be cute, so I got it. I didn't really have any, like a look in mind, but I just grabbed it anyways because it was only $1.99. And then Rachel actually found this shirt for me. It's again blue, but it's got like lavender, red, white, navy stripes on it. And I thought that this would look cute with like a little cami underneath of it. I don't know. Like this. Pretty cute. So that I just really only bought this shirt because it looked really comfy this just like looks so comfy to me so I got it and the last thing I found oops nope I also found these a little pair of earrings just a tiny little dainty pair of dangly earrings thought they were cute liked the little imprints on them and then I found this, like, body length cover-up. And this was also originally from Forever 21. So I got it. It's huge, though. It goes all the way to the ground. So I was like, you know what? I've been needing more cover-ups. And then I went to Kohl's. Actually, Rachel wanted to go to Kohl's to find more pants, and I was like, well, might as well browse the clearance, I guess. So for some reason, I don't know what reason, I got this dress. It's like dusty blue velvet, and it's got, I don't even know how I'm going to look in this, but I grabbed it. I don't know why. And I also got this dress that I thought was really cute. It's by Apartment 9. And it's, it looks like this kind of halter style and then it goes like this. I thought it was cute, so I tried it out. We'll see if they end up actually working. And then I found this tank top 
that I really liked. I almost got it in like this light beige color, but then I found this one and it was the only one left in my size. So I grabbed it and I found this. It's emerald green and I think it's just super cute and I could wear this to work with that little tan can underneath of it. Last thrift store, we went to this place called Christie's Closet. First of all, I found a pair of my own Jesus sandals there. They were a little bit pricey, but this is literally the same exact pair that Rachel has. And they were my size. So I got them and they're in like perfect condition. I'm really excited about these. Really excited because I think I can wear those to work too. Oh, and because I spent like $30 at Christie's, they gave me a free bag. And it's just a little tiny button up purse. Like they had this one in tan, uh, tan black or navy blue. So I picked one of the black ones. I was like, that's such a cool marketing technique. Oh yeah, and two of these things I got for 25 cents each. Hmm. So, actually this top I got for 25 cents. It's literally just baby blue. And it really does smell like old ladies, but... I figured, you know what, I can wear just a plain ass shirt to work any day I want. And then this one I also got for only 25 cents. It reminded me of Stranger Things and that's why I picked it up. But then I actually ended up liking it and Rachel told me to get it. So I got it. Very crazy print, but I'm only planning to wear it with a solid color being the top. I also found this orange cover up. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. So I picked that up. And then probably one of my favorite finds of the day is this. Do you guys understand how long I've been looking for a black jean jacket that actually fit me the way I wanted it to? I finally found one. This thing is huge and it fits me. Like, it couldn't have asked for anything more. Then, what's in this bag? Oh, Rachel returned my Dairy Queen sweater. Because <laughs> I kept it. It's like souvenirs from all my failed jobs. Oh, I went to Hobby Lobby with Logan earlier. Rachel gave me a journal to write in. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's a crystal mining kit. So, I figured I'd give it a twirl. See how it is. It's only 10 bucks, so I'm like, if I get a couple crystals out of it, I don't even care. This is all just stuff Rachel gave me. She gave me a little Thousand Wishes shower gel, foot scrub, Georgia Peach lotion, therapeutic balm for your feet, vanilla pearl. Ooh, this smells good. Wild Madagascar Vanilla. Vanilla Pearl is not associated with the makers of Bath and Body Works. Sounds like somebody's got beef. And she gave me a, a monster. Rachel's mad because I didn't spend the night tonight, but... You guys should see the state of my room right now. It's bad. And then Logan and I went to Barnes & Noble this morning before he went home. Wow. Every single book was the same price. And that's why my bank account hurts so bad. First book I got was actually the last book I picked up. And it was The Project by Courtney Summers. I just felt like I needed more than two books. Ooh, kind of creepy. Hmm. 
This, um, I'm pretty sure is like a cult. So, and I, I don't know. I thought I'd try it out. It sounded pretty interesting. I don't really want to know too much about it. I just kind of like glimpsed it, saw if it was something up my alley and picked it up. Next, we have house of hollow by crystal sutherland and first of all this cover is very pretty it scares me but it's beautiful i don't know i just really love the design of it like there's so much detail like her face is so well done and there's so much flower and like all the little insects i don't know i just really love the color and the cover and it's purple And I'm not really sure what this is about. Um, this girl named Iris and her two older sisters are very strange. They disappeared on a Scottish city only to return a month later with no memory of what had happened. Their appearances began to change. And people find them disturbingly intoxicating, unbearably beautiful, and inexplicably dangerous. Now this girl Iris is trying to fit in to graduate high school. One of, their, one of her sisters goes missing, so they go to find her, and they find out things about their past. I'm assuming they probably get their memories back from being kidnapped. And then the last thing I got from Barnes & Noble was Lore by Alexander Bracken. I've been meaning to pick this up for a while and then never did, but I finally convinced myself to do it. You may deny the fates, but they will not deny you. Fighting them will not save you from what is ahead. Ooh, spine crack. Just white, very classy. There's a map on the inside. Every seven years, the Aegon begins. As a punishment for a past rebellion, nine great gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. They are hunted by the descendants of Asian bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. Laura Perseus fled the brutal world, turning her back on the hunt's promises. So, two participants seek her out. She decides to rejoin the hunt. Bring humanity to its knees. Sounds riveting. So that is my haul. I've done a lot of damage today. I desperately need to clean my room. It's very messy. Um, and yeah, I just figured I would give you guys a haul. I am planning to do a 24-hour readathon in the next couple days. I'm just not sure when yet. But I guess you guys will know when I'm doing a readathon because this vlog isn't going to be uploaded until I do a 24-hour readathon. So if you're seeing this, hi, I'm probably in the middle of a readathon. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for a new video.